But just because I'm giving you my love for free, are things not for real? You've been telling everyone about us, but you are not the only one I call for fun. Late night to hear love guns. No, you won't see that I'm lying to Hello everybody and welcome back to Simply Designed. I am so happy to have you back here on my channel and Welcome if you are new. If you are new, my name is Anastasia and today I will be resetting my entire house for the weekend because Lord knows the last thing I want to do on a weekend is clean. So I'm going to start off here in the living room and slowly make my way around the house and giving it a facelift. guys I am doing nothing crazy today I am keeping it very simple very minimal I am just going to be picking up the house there is no crazy cleaning happening no deep cleaning happening just the basic stuff things that will hold us over for the weekend and then Monday morning I will get back into it Here in my kitchen, I will be wiping down the island first before moving on anything else and a couple of days ago, my three little nieces came over and they ripped some flowers from their front yard and brought them over to me and I just thought it was the cutest, sweetest little thing. So I'm going to display them here on my island in this little cup, make them look nice and cute and I just love fresh flowers. I love that they can die and I can get new ones. I cannot commit to any plants because they stick around for way too long and I constantly need change.
was a couple of dishes left from last night that I didn't get to put away so I'm going to put away those dishes now and then I get of course wash the new dishes in the sink and you guys excuse my voice I have been dealing with the worst tonsillitis I've ever in my life and it's just taking its sweet old time and if you've ever suffered with tonsillitis you know what I mean and it's just taking longer than normal to get back to my normal voice but we're getting there bear with me And now that the kitchen and the living room are all picked up, I am going to make my way into the entryway and into the hallway. And this area is always dirty. There's always rocks that get tracked in here from the playground. So I am going to sweep the floors here. Also clean this mirror in the entryway. My kiddos always touch it. But next is the linen closet, which is a horror story of its own. So this is our linen closet. This is a very small linen closet and if you don't know then we are a family of six living in this tiny apartment but it is looking rough and here I store all of the sheets for our five beds. I have two girls, two boys, me and my husband. So this is where I store all the sheets, all of our towels. All of my girls you know hair supplies all that good stuff but I need to organize this desperately obviously I have let it gone loose for way too long and it is time to organize Whenever I am organizing and decluttering, I like to use the KonMari method and it is basically where you just take everything out, you lay it all out in front of you, you see what you have and then you make piles of things that you need, things that bring you joy, things that don't. Long story short, this is our only linen closet and this is where we store all of our beach towels, our bath towels and also our sheets. So. Here I was asking my daughter which towel she wanted to keep because she had three and there is no reason to have three towels. So I am just going to be making a pile of donations and nicely organizing everything back into the closet and I am trying to find more ways to minimize and simplify my life but at the stage of life that I am at I don't think I can get rid of any more towels considering I don't have a laundry in our apartment. So. Everything that I have now works for now, but in the future, I would like to minimize even more. Here I am in my boys room and I just wanted to come in here and vacuum for the weekend. That that way it's clean, good to go, but there was some toys on the floor so I just went ahead and organized all their toys back to where they need to be vacuumed and that is it. Nothing too crazy, nothing too fancy.
bathroom, I will be just restocking a couple of supplies. There is nothing worse than sitting on a toilet and not having enough toilet paper. So I am going to go ahead and restock that and just do a quick clean of the bathroom before moving on into my room. that I needed to refresh for the weekend was my bedroom and I did start making the bed this morning and got carried away with the kids but I am here I am back at it I am going to make my bed and then I also had some loads of laundry that I needed to put away and I was not gonna put away laundry during the weekend so I'm gonna suck it up do it now and that way I don't have to worry about any kind of cleaning during the weekend so that I can spend time with my kids and my family and as you guys saw i did nothing crazy nothing dramatic just kept things very simple but it was enough to make a difference and i hope that this encouraged you guys to refresh your home for the weekend i hope that you got all the motivation that you needed and with all of that being said i will see you monday morning with a brand new video like the day before You're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door oh, You don't have to wake up yet oh, We can spend all day in bed I'll put the TV in the room We'll have a Netflix Marathon, KG saxophone We'll order in a bunch of food I'll put your favorite music on All the way baritone oh, yeah. Shut the lights, go